Hi everyone, Maria Banga here. Maria Banga, your psychotherapist, motivational speaker, inspirational author, lawyer, so many things in one. Chime in from Douala, Cameroon. I am specialized in mental health and relational wellness. And on Tuesdays, I usually love to do a therapist mark segment, you know, talking about anything that can affect our mental health, that can improve our mental health, that can inspire us as we go on this journey to take care of ourselves, take care of our mental health. Yes, because mental health matters. And we all know that when you're not doing well mentally, it is practically impossible to do well physically, emotionally, morally, spiritually. It is really like the mind or the brain It's the, it's the uh, control system of our entire being. You know, it's true that sometimes when the mind is sick, we'll say, oh, we'll pray over it, we'll do this, we'll do that to get it back on shape. But the best thing is try to even take care of it to the point where it doesn't even get sick in the first place. You know, so, well, um, I was on a spiritual journey, 21 days, and I've been learning different things and I came across different things and I just learned from all angles. The important thing is, can this help me? Yes, then I get to it. So, um, I... I got onto this vlog on YouTube um, because that was practically the, other, the only social media I was allowed to. And um, it is called Words of Wisdom. And you have this what we call um, Buddha quotes. We all know who Buddha is or we should know. You can Google Buddha up. But um, I, I've, I've loved his quotes. I mean, frankly speaking, for me, it's like any of these spiritual teachers, words of wisdom, learn from them, pick them see how you can apply them in your life so in these quotes uh, they are talking about when people are feeling depressed let them remember this and i'm a psychotherapist and i can tell you how the power of positive affirmations and validations and all of that have helped me a lot in my life i'm also a person with a lived experience right i live with post-traumatic stress disorder so i know what it means to get under the radar and then to remind yourself of certain things in life and then to get going so um I will put the link there. Uh, I'm going to run us through a few quotes. I, I can share a few of them there. But the most important thing is I believe in all of these things. And I just want to share this today to encourage someone. Sometimes even when you come to us or you come to me as a specialist, I'm still going to get you some of these things. So sometimes you can just help yourself by going onto these sites, listening to these things, really looking at how they apply to you or how you can, you know, hang on to them and they start to shift your mindset, your perspectives, you know, and your attitudes, all of that is very important. So the very first one, which I love here is that remember that sometimes not getting what you want is an, it's a wonderful stroke of luck. Sometimes we think, oh no, we must have it. We must have everything that we want in life. I was really reflecting on this thing yesterday about, uh, you know, this guarantee he promised in the Bible that God will fulfill your heart's desires. But uh, someone said, heart's desire doesn't mean just anything that you want. It means the core heart desires or the things which he also thinks that God thinks that you really need. It's not just like, oh, for example, that's an example they use. If you want a six-pack man, he's going to going to produce a six packs man for you that you might not really need a six packs man or you know a woman who does this or those kind of things so we need to be careful and worrying does not take away someone's troubles it takes away today's peace i have tried it maybe that's why people say oh i don't worry i don't worry what is worrying going to do to me now if i tell you the things i have on my mind now in my life and i'm like well god at your own time will begin to sort them out because I seriously cannot worry about those things. I mean, I have to go swimming. So that those are my kind of things I'm focusing on now. Not on weather bills and blah, 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 blah. No, life is so fleeting. Okay, so um, you cannot suffer the past or future. Because they do not exist. And that is true. The past is past. The future is not yet here. What you are suffering is your memory and your imagination your memory of your past and your imagination of the future. So what does that tell you or what can that tell you? Let them be. 
Let them be. Live the present moment. You don't live the present moment. You are constantly ruminating about your past. You are constantly planning for your future. Before you know it, well, there's no present moment. So it gets back into the past. And uh, 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 uh. Okay, well, nah, happiness is not about getting all you want. It is about enjoying all you have. Look at what I have. I have my life. I have my limbs. I have my smile. I have my this. I have my that. And I will be there because I don't have a big car. I don't have a house. I don't have a good job. I don't have a... Uh, 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 uh. Seriously. And then remember, someone somewhere doesn't even have what you have. So please, stop being so ungrateful to God or the universe or whatever you believe is your source. By me, 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 me. And I was just saying today on another social media platform, stop saying I want to be seen. Seen by who? I don't feel seen. You don't feel seen by who? Can you see yourself? Can you look at yourself in the mirror? Do you know that God sees you? So what is this chasing after people seeing you, people's validation to the point where you become miserable when it doesn't happen? So those are the kind of, of things here. And uh, now many of them, right? And I will really encourage you to, to go onto this side and uh, to this video, watch this video and think about how that applies to your life. And uh, one other one which also struck me was do not count your problems. Do not count your problems. What are you counting problems for? Um, yesterday I was reflecting on, uh, I got this from Brainy Dose or from Psychic2.go. I'm watching all of those things and we're talking about the five habits of mentally strong people. And then I realized I was a mentally strong person and I was like, praise the Lord. So number one was that, um, I, I've forgotten the other, but well, they are confident, um, they stay away from toxic, they engage in deep conversations and not small talk, they express themselves, they can control their emotions. All of those things. I just want to encourage us today in a nutshell to, to not give up, you know, when challenges come up or when, you know, those moments come and we are not so sure about it and the people around us and all of that. You might need professional help. I'm here, you know, you can reach out or you can just watch this and you start to think about what you're going through and you process all of that. And then you go for more, you know. So spend your, your data wisely, spend your time wisely, you are enough, you know, you are just beautiful, you are, you are a full package. So um, don't be sad about things you cannot control and um, all of that. And then remember, it's very good to stay close to your source. Um, a lot of strength, spiritual muscles, um, mental muscles, all of it comes from there. I'm telling you from my own experience, right? And you know me, I like to keep it real. I like to inspire, motivate people from all walks of life with my personal experiences. So, until next week, ciao, God bless us all.